Okay, so what are we talking about again? We're talking about um, how to how to handle reject uh, how to handle rejection gracefully. Gracefully. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Wait. 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 <laughs> Is my hair okay? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> yep. Okay, we're ready. What's up? <laughs> Today we're going to talk about how to handle rejection gracefully. Okay? So, the problem... <laughs> so, the mistake guys make is that they like a girl and then they, they're really nice to her for a week <laughs> or two or a month or however long, right? And then finally they think, okay, we have chemistry. It's the right time. It's safe. Let me ask her out. Then they ask her out and she says, no, I can't. Okay. And then what does he do? He gets mad. He starts being mean to her. Maybe even calls her a bitch, either to her face or behind her back. And then he stops being friendly with her, he stops talking to her, and basically he gets upset like a little child. So that's what we're going to talk about, that's not what to, that's what not to do, and now we're going to talk about all of that, what not to do and what to do. So who wants to start? How do you feel like when this happens? And Well, it, it, it's annoying and it's frustrating, frustrating and it angers me, like... Dude, and up until now you were friendly and you were listening to me and you didn't give me any like sexual vibes or if I tried to do something you didn't answer to to that mm -hmm. if that's the case or it was just friendly and then you ask me out and I tell you no because like I'm not I might not be attracted to you, I might not have it as a priority, I might even think that, you know, you're too sweet, you're too, like, maybe you like me too much and I'm not that into you, and mm -hmm. I'll tell you to your face, like, you know, I don't, I think that I'm not gonna be yeah, good for you because I feel... don't feel the same, yeah. and they would treat me like, okay, you're an object, I'm gonna throw you away, you're just shit, you're broken, and I'm gonna go for mm -hmm. someone else. So they flip. They yeah, just... they flip. It, and yeah. it makes it seem as if um, being nice to you that entire time was mm -hmm. just a strategy. Yeah. Like, this exactly. is who they really are, and uh -huh. they were pretending to be a nice person. Yeah, and what did you say before we started rolling? Um, I don't remember. You said, <laughs> okay, well, I guess I was right uh, to say no. Yeah, it proves, it just proves that you were right. Mm -hmm. So basically, yeah. um, like, uh, I talk a lot about you have to be a genuine lover of women and have that intention to leave them better than you found them. Mm -hmm. And when you meet a guy who was nice to you until he stopped getting what he wanted, wanted and then now he's, he's an asshole, yeah. well then he's not a genuine lover of women, he's not a genuine, like you said, mm -hmm. he just saw you as an object to acquire instead yeah, but of... Yeah, then I can, I can get that from like his behavior, I mean I can sense that we can sense that as women right okay so and even are, before that happens. even before that and um we if we really don't like the guy and we want to be friends we are quite direct sometimes right because mm -hmm. with me it happen i would tell the guy no i'm not looking to be in a relationship mm -hmm. i'm i wouldn't tell him like i'm not looking to be in a relationship with you because you didn't ask me out or you didn't you yeah. know, make that move. But I would say, I'm not looking to be in a relationship, I want to focus on work, um, I'm happy we are friends, or things like that. <laughs> and then might... inside, his heart uh, crumbles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then if I see that he's interested in me and doing certain things because of that, mm -hmm. I would tell him, don't do that. Okay, so you're saying, like, yeah, you're, you're, you're kind of like, okay, buddy, like I see what you're hoping for, but you're being yeah. kind by telling him, I see what's happening, but don't don't get your hopes up because we're not. Don't get your not, hopes up. I want I to be friends. Mm -hmm. I would be friendly. I wouldn't try to send mixed signals. Yeah. Um. So if you if he tells me, okay, so I want to be with you, and I tell him, no, I mm -hmm. told you already. I'm not. I don't feel the same. And he, because uh, I when I was this happened when I was really young. Uh, in high school, he said that I'm. I, he called me a bitch and because you said no, basically. Because I said no, mm -hmm. and um, then later on in life, 
they would just like be so offended and it they would make me feel like I did something so horrible for mm. not being attracted to them and it made they made me feel like you know the time they invested in me was like I don't know was such a, a horrible loss for them a horrible <laughs> yeah. and it it made it made me feel like you know whenever I would date other people mm -hmm. I'd be really aware of paying my for my own things or just oh, like making sure that if I'm not attracted to him I give like I, I don't let him invest too much in me yeah, or invest in me at all or if he would uh, pay for for the drinks I would pay next time so mm -hmm. I'd make it I would make sure that we are even yeah and I just return yeah so you don't feel like you owe him something yeah it, um, because they, they try to do this. Mm -hmm. It can also, it can make you feel like um, as if he wants you to say yes, even if you don't want to. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> what a, uh, elaborate. Um, as in like he would, he would prefer for you to date him even though you're not interested okay. and to have a girlfriend that wasn't really into him mm. um, than for you to say no. Like especially I think that this happened to me like um, when I was younger a lot because I think younger guys are also more insecure but and it, it happens later in a relationship if you try and break up with someone mm -hmm. and they try and argue against it to the point where they're almost saying um, stay with me because it would make me happy stay with yeah. me okay. to keep yeah and it, knowing that you don't want to no like and so you're like oh uh, like almost scared to say no at that stage Okay. Yeah. And that, that um, it really it's, you're doing a kindness by saying no to a guy that, um, that you're not interested in because who, who would want to be with someone? Um, yeah, exactly. I don't want to be with a yeah. guy who would just say yes because I'm, I show that I'm so into him mm. if he's not into me. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but I feel like I'm not a charity case. Like, mm -hmm. Mm. I, I can, you know, find somebody who's actually willing to, to be there. Yeah. And to, yeah. And what, what happened to me when I was uh, in university was that uh, I broke up with this guy. We were together for six months. And um, at that point, um, I, was, I wasn't sure about his intention for being with me. Because I was aware that him and his friends see me as really hot. And I wasn't, I was so insecure about that. I didn't see myself that amazing. I was like, okay, I'm a normal person. Mm -hmm. I'm just lean. I, I didn't see um, how, how, I didn't see myself how they saw me. And um, I knew because it was high school and I knew that um, when they first met me, one of them placed a bet on like um, just, getting to be with me and maybe mm -hmm. taking me home and whatever which didn't happen and then um, I ended up with this guy but I always feel like he's with me because of my looks not for anything else even though he he tried to be there he tried to listen he tried to uh, to please me but something felt always felt off so I didn't go further with him, I didn't ha have sex with him, for mm -hmm. example. And um, after we broke up, uh, he kept trying to, to be in my life and I decided that, okay, maybe we can be friends, like I broke his heart and just like, so sorry for doing that, maybe we can work as friends. And years later, into that friendship, um, I kept confronting him because some of our mutual friends would tell us, you know, uh, you definitely had sex because he told me yeah, things yeah. and whatever and whatever. And then at one point, like our uh, our mutual friends became more my friends. And this was like three years later. Uh, they told me like in detail what wow. he used to say about me and about what he used to do to me. Wow. So yeah, that's I mean, like that's... taking a breakup like to the point where you make lies about the other person, mm -hmm. like, why would you do that? Like, why would you do that to, to, to 
your mutual friends. Why would you do that to other people? Because yeah. you, you try to be in a, in a better light and you, you try to, you know, be the victim. But are you really a victim? Like, that's the, that's the point. Yeah, yeah. And that's just, I think, the foundation of the difference between men who are good with women and the men who aren't is that the foundational thing is the intention, right? The intention. Mm -hmm. If, if mm -hmm. someone has a pure intention, which means caring about people yeah. and seeing them as humans, no matter how hot they are, they're <laughs> humans, then no matter what happens, the guy's not gonna turn evil on you, whether you yeah. reject him or not. Even if you have a really bad breakup, he's gonna stay private about it and still you know you, you part your own ways you respect each other and that's it right and one thing that i want to mention too is like if you're going for a girl so i mentioned this in another video about persistence you can watch that later but let's say i like lizzie and i ask her out now she says no thank you okay that does not mean that she's going to say no thank you maybe six months down the line or maybe even three years down the line but it depends on my attitude after she says no. If I flip on her and say, ah, oh, you know, fuck you, bitch, whatever, that's it, I'm done forever. However, if I'm gracious with it, and I'm like, okay, no problem, and I still, I'm still friendly with her, I still let her know that, you know, I, I still like you, but that's fine. Maybe in three years or six months or however long, she'll, she'll be in a different place Maybe she'll feel different and, you know, things can happen. That's happened with me. So that's also that, why it works to your favor. That can also make you look a lot more attractive if you, yeah. if you see that yes. happening. Okay, so that now you see the other side. It's like, oh, if I say no to this guy, he's still the same guy. Mm. Boom, you just got trust, yeah. right? Yeah. More trust. Mm. And, and then at the same time, okay, if you wait maybe for a few months, that's not a problem, but three years, or even one year, you you shouldn't wait as a puppy and just like yeah. be, oh, when are you gonna yeah. give and me some water? Yeah, that's a good point. Or like, that's no, date other people. Just yeah. like see what you like. Try to find because mm -hmm. who knows? Maybe that girl really wasn't for you, and maybe she's better off as a friend, and maybe she can give you advice in dating other mm -hmm. people. And what I meant is like, yeah. but that's a very good distinction. Is like, uh, don't wait around for that girl. You're dating other people, but maybe you and her like will still there's still a possibility there. Mm -hmm. It's not that they're waiting, but they yeah. can they, sometimes and sometimes you look at someone and you're like, no way in hell, I'm sorry, like you just won't. But sometimes Sometimes yeah. things change and so, circumstances change, yeah. So I think the bottom line is as a man, if you want to look yourself in the mirror, be able to look yourself in the mirror and also look me in the eye and tell me, okay, I'm um, I'm good with women. It has to start from your the integrity of your intention. If you're not coming from that pure intention at the, at the foundation, then all you're doing on top is just acting, right? Like yeah, yeah. acting, manipulating, ha ha ha, I'm nice to you. Uh, hopefully I'll get something in return, mm. right? And there, that's, we have a saying in Romania that uh, a lie has short legs. So you, you can, you can, you can't, it can't run away from mm -hmm. you. Um, so if, and, and if we have another saying that says, um, if you lie, uh, you have to, you know, consume so much energy to remember what your oh, lie yeah. was That's and to so keep true. up with that. And the thing is you can't do it for long. Maybe you can do it for a night or mm -hmm. a week or mm -hmm. even a month. Um, but you won't be able to do it for a few months or a year or so. And like you said, it's like as a woman, you can tell if somebody's yeah. lying, right? Mm -hmm. You have a sense and maybe they'll fool you for a little while, but you're going to get them, yeah. right? You're, you're going to feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we, we decide uh, just because we think that maybe he's going to change mm -hmm. or maybe he's going to, you know, become more real in time. Uh, and we, we, we choose to stay, but um, in the end, if we don't see any change, and if we, you know, uh, talk about that issue, uh, and nothing happens, we will give up. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, great. So, uh, any final thoughts? Any 
to, to sum it up, we'll sum it up, each, each one of us will sum it up. So, Lizzie first. Um, I, no, you'll sum it up first. <laughs> I would say, don't take it personal. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's... <laughs> don't take it personal? Yeah, don't take it personal, just be open-minded and um, keep, being, keep being consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be consistent, be consistent with who you are. With who if you are, you are yeah, nice. the same, if that's who you are before you meet the girl, before you ask her out and before you get rejected and after all of this, then that's a good point for you. Excellent. <clears throat> um, it's... I would say it's okay to be disappointed or um, sad about the fact that um, someone's rejected you, but if you um, if you get angry with them, it puts some obligation on them for how they should have responded, and you don't really have a right to do that. Beautiful. I, that's an amazing point. I'll, I'll build on that point. A woman, when you're asking a woman out, okay, she does not owe you shit. Okay, you're asking her out. She's free to say yes. She's free to say no. So don't act like she owed you anything for any reason, even if she was being nice to you or whatever. She doesn't owe you anything. You're asking something from her. She's free to say yes. She's free to say no. So be mature. And if she says no, don't be like a little baby and cry about it. Be a man. Be courteous. Stay that like, what did you say? Be consistent. Yeah, don't be entitled. Don't, don't behave Yeah, like don't change entitled. who you are. If you change who you are, then you're not really solid, right? So you need to be solid. Whether a woman says yes or no, you're walking away the same way, you're treating her the same way. Yeah. Then you're really a lover of women. Then you're a man of integrity. Then you're, you're being a real man. So thank you, Marilla, Lizzie. And if you want to see more videos with these beautiful girls, then comment below and request them. And then... Uh, if we get enough requests, we'll do them. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye. Bye.